that update. I've just gotten home from my first surgery. So if I'm looking a bit crazy, it's because I am. <laughs> um, oh, throat's a bit scratchy. All right, so um, Tuesday's been and gone. I've had the first surgery. I went in at 6.30 on Tuesday morning. Uh, it was first off the ranks, so that was really good. Jumped on the scales. Um, I was 208.6, I think it was. So from doing absolutely nothing different, I was still losing weight, so that was good. Um, I do apologize. I'm sitting in my pajamas. I am a bit stoned from the medication. I've only literally just got home. So the operation went well, except when he was trying to take my lap band out, the port from the lap band had actually created a, um, a hernia. So not only did I have a uh, lap band removal, but I also had a hernia repair. So that's all right. Um, I can't stress or I can't praise enough the people that actually looked after me at the private Green Slopes Private Hospital. Oh, I've been looked after from day dot. It was fantastic. Um, yeah. Um, the anaesthetist, I can't say big words. Um, she was awesome. She was really good. Um, they put in a, a, a normal drip, but they also put a, an arterial um, into my wrist as well. So that monitors your blood pressure so you don't have to have like um, you know a cuff on you all the time and that pumping up on you and all that kind of stuff which is good. Um, I ended up with four incisions, one big one and four little keyhole ones. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm doing exceptionally well apparently. They don't normally let people um, release from ICU straight to home so I'm very um, grateful about that. Um, whew, um, sorry if I'm a bit all over the shop. Um, but yeah, the, the operation I think took a couple of hours, two and a half hours I think. I was back at, I think about 8 o'clock. I was about out of the ward. I don't in ICU about 10.30. Um, unfortunately they didn't let my partner know, Steve, that I was in ICU and everything was okay little bit of miscommunication not too good with Steve's blood pressure but what can you do um, I had an awesome bed at the start but the bugger thing kept beeping all the time <laughs> so they took me off it and put me on a bed that killed my oh a coccyx whatever it is your tailbone oh it's still sore that's why I'm sitting on the edge of this bed at the moment just to let the pressure go but other than that, I'm in high spirits, so that's really good. Um, I'm on clear fluids or free fluids. One thing Dr. Greenslade did say to me, that my liver is extremely large. So I'm straight on to the liquid diet. Yay. So um, I've come home. Um, Steve, and my, uh, Steve and my best friend David have actually gone and... Um, left me here, set me up, I'm okay, and then um, they've gone to the to go get the OptiFast, so, and I, I will, like I said, I promise I'll do uh, a video in regards to that too, so. Okay, just a quick update, I'm going all good, I feel horrible, but um, I'm glad it's over, and on to the next chapter, and um, yep, yeah, it's really good, okay. Well, thank you very much for all those who have subscribed and also thanks to everyone um, who's liked the videos. Um, it helps me, uh, motivate me and help me support me through what journey I'm going through. So I, I grace this, grace this, oh, here comes my speeching impeditive back again. <laughs> I gracefully, uh, oh, no. I'm not even going to continue with that. But thank you very much. That's that's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Um, <clears throat> but, um, yes, 
Um, thank you, and um, please subscribe and like. And I've said that already. All right. Um, next time, hopefully, I'm not all drugged up. Okay. Thought I'd do a short update. Okay. Just press the stop button, Karen. Stop button.